All right, Ben. Let's get it together. Everything's going to be okay. I hope. I'm uh, officially headed out to Tucson. Sun just set. It's uh, 7.25. I was planning to leave at 1, but things happened, and I needed to make sure everything was tight on the good on the good. Uh, we're headed to Pittsburgh, and I think what I'm going to do is – this is a long drive. I think I'm going to vlog the drive, and on the way, I'll stop and answer the, a lot of the questions that I'm getting asked. Uh, at different road at road stops, I'll just I'll answer one or two questions at each road stop on the way. Hopefully, I'll answer about my goal is maybe like ten questions. Maybe nah, I want this to be less than a ten minute video, so maybe ten questions. All right, I'll see you uh, later. It's sunsetting, so you're probably not gonna see me for a while. So I figured while I. Uh, I'm on the way from Tucson to Pittsburgh. So I would take questions that I've been getting uh, since I announced this road trip. First question that people ask me is, how, like Ben, like, no seriously, how are you affording this? And I'm, I'm being honest when I say, I do not have like a budget for this. I, I'm just gonna try to figure it out on the road. I, my goal is to break even on the strip and I'll figure it out. If I have to do odd jobs, if I have to do, you know, scrounging uh, on my very, very limited amount of time, that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, speaking of money, we're rolling it up here. I'll see you the next stop. All right, so we're back. I, uh, the maps made me get off the highway, so I figured if I'm going to go 40 miles an hour, I might as well just pull in and get top off the gas. Uh, second question for all the questions that we've asked. Someone asked me, Luda, I can't even speak. Uh, it's it's 12.09 mountain time, which means it's 11.09 Pacific, which is where Tucson's time zone is. For those curious, I am, my exact location right now is La Cruces or La Crosse. I think this is like where Montana State is, so I'm, I'm four hours in. Um, but anyways, I actually went to a gas station on the street and it was just, everything was closed. Oh, that was quick. Let's see what we got here. 37, 34, not too bad. All right, so my, the question was, what weekend stretch are you most excited about or anxious about uh, on the road trip? So. Like I said in the video, I have like a soft outline. Well, I, I think the answer is this weekend, the first weekend. Five games in five days. I'm going West Virginia at Pitt. Either, I think I'm going to do William Air at Charlotte, uh, just because I have friends in Charlotte. And it's nice to go to like a, you know, just a, a, a lesser, like, people don't, wouldn't think, oh, you should go to this game. I want to go. I like I like meeting people from all over. Uh, Utah at Florida, obviously. I want to go to that one. For FSU at LSU and Clemson at Georgia Tech. It's five games in five days, and I'm still learning this. So I think between me driving all the way across the country, 2,000 some miles just to get to one game, and then going from there, that's a lot. Uh, I, let me look and see what other weekends. I think I'll share the my schedule at some point. Week seven, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Holy crap. I have five games on week seven. I'm looking at uh, Louisiana at Marshall, Baylor at West Virginia, Brown at Princeton, Stanford at Notre Dame, and Alabama A&M at Arkansas Pine Buff on a Sunday. So that'll probably be a second. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get back on the road. It's a uh, five, 5.57 Sun Mountain time still. I'm in Vaughn, New Mexico. I uh, I don't need much gas, but I stopped. I'm gonna get an energy drink. I took a short nap somewhere. Uh, my original ETA, obviously I'm not gonna make the first thing was you know 3 40 something in the morning uh wednesday morning i took a, a two and a half hour nap and i think my my time now is is around six probably i've been sitting here so see i would say 6 30. Uh, a lot of people i guess my third question that, that people have been asking just why why are you doing this uh and it's because life is worth living and there's nothing i love more than just meeting new people and in college football uh what's funny is uh, a girl i dated in college actually i went to valencia before i went to uf and uh when i asked this this girl out we dated for a while uh what i said i don't need you i want you and i can't promise you and then i said but i can't promise you i'll love you more than i love the nba and she said knowing how much i love you you know that love the nba i'm willing to take that chance needless to say we we dated for a while uh, but I feel like that's the same way I feel about college football now, uh, because I did not, I was, we dated when I went to Valencia and then at UF as well, but it was before I really, really fell in love with the game. 
Um, so yeah, this is giving me energy on uh, the next five days. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm going to need a lot of juice. So if you're watching this, feel free to blow up my DMs that keep me awake. Uh, the sun's about to rise here at some point shortly. I think that you can kind of see the sky's turning red. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just get an energy drink and uh, keep moving. So I'll see you in the next one. Stopped in Texas now, and there's just something about this specific stop that just it just really spoke to me. I mean, I I didn't need to go anywhere, but I just figured I would stop here uh, and answer three more questions. Well, not well, one question uh, that I've got is like, is there anything that you're afraid of or worried about on this trip? And I would say I'm worried. I'm not okay. The first thing is I'm gonna miss like actually watching the Gators play. Uh, because I'm going to be going all over the place. I'm not, that's not a, a fear or worry. I would say that my van that I have is... I've never gone this far with it. I've been road tripping out of a, a car before this. So, uh, But the oil change, the tire rotation that I had uh, at Firestone, nothing else came up, which is rare. I don't think that's ever happened to me where you take your car and they're like, all right, you're set. At the end, they, you know, usually they're like, oh, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Um, so that's, that's a positive. Uh, you know... Besides that, like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't really live in, in fear, or, you know, financially it's going to be a burden, but besides that, it's okay. Uh, also, I don't, I don't drink coffee, uh, so I run on Celsius, not sponsored. Uh, the Tropical Vibes is my favorite flavor, so I guess like fading while driving, but I'm pretty, I, I take naps when I need to. It's about getting there, not getting there as fast as possible. All right, um, 334 is one of the cheapest gases I've seen, so I'm going to get a little bit of gas here and get out of here. Um, I'm almost, I'm three hours outside of Pittsburgh. Sorry, I put my foot down. Kind of gross. Uh, I think I just saw one of those Disney minivans that they basically, it's like the Uber service on Disney property in Orlando. As I was getting on the highway, I just stopped to get, I went to the bathroom and then I got a free thing of Popeye's, uh, mashed potatoes because they just had points or whatever on the app. Don't judge me for having the Popeye's app. I like my spicy chicken. Gosh, I think it is. Look at the before the game. I just talked to this guy right here, walking away. His name's Rob. Super nice guy. Nervous about Pitt. Also, this guy right here, he's droning it up, way up there. You can kind of see it. Um, I'm setting up to do a little video, and then we'll get out of here. All right, so it's. Let me put this right here. Can I get you to say? All right. It's one. It's almost one a.m. Uh, September 1st, rent's due, uh, so pay your rent, and I just left Planet Fitness right here, I just went in and took a shower because I've been driving for 40 something hours, and I did a Q&A video, uh, like I stopped, every time, I, well not every time, I, I answered a bunch of, a few questions that I've been asked uh, at different pit stops along the way from Tucson to Pittsburgh, I recorded it. It's this video, obviously, but during it, I um, I said, do I have any fears or anxieties about the trip? And I think I said, I don't, I haven't looked at the video. I think I mentioned the van. I would say that my van that I have is, I've never gone this far with it. I've been road tripping out of a, a car before this. Betty, Betty White's her name. And I think I said that because it's I've only had the van for like less than 10,000 miles. I that was the anxiety because I my Kia that I just gave to my dad, I bought it when I had 5,000 miles on it, second owner, and I drove it with confidence up to like 750 uh, 175,000 miles on it. Um and then there was like some transmission stuff and I was able to get it across the country to my dad um and just give it to him as like he only drives like a mile a day if that. Um, at 198,000 miles on it. So I put 193,000 miles on that car, a Kia Forte 2014. Um, and I was confident up to 175. And there was a point today, like after I got to Pittsburgh, driving the hills here, where I was not confident with the car. Um, there was a point where I got to a stop sign and accelerated and went, the RPMs went all the way up to five. And then some of the hills, like, you know, I just, it's definitely a transmission thing. And it's annoying because 
literally August 8th, August 29th, the day I left Tucson, I got an oil change tire rotation and, you know, I was like, hey, can you guys inspect my car? And there's no way that over the 2,100 miles here, like, my car's just like, no, we're going to, it's, it's over, Ben. Um, so what's the plan? Tomorrow is the first, or well, game two, and game one of this five-day uh, stretch. And I'm going to try to go in first thing in the morning to a Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealership in town. I'm going to sleep at a Walmart parking lot, which is about 15 minutes away from here, 15, 20. And then 10 minutes away from there, uh, there's a Dodge Chrysler Jeep, and the service station opens at 7, 30. So I'm going to get there at 7 and just pr hope, pray that they can get me in, and within 12 hours they can fix it. Uh, or, or just look at my car. You know, because the game's at 7. Um, and I just can't... I I can't fail. I, I can't... I can't not make this work. You know, I'm not worried about the cost to fix it or whatever. I just need Betty to get me through week one. Like... And it's annoying... And you know I'm serious because this is the first time you see my eyes. I usually wear my glasses because um, I don't want to like look at the lens um, and symmetry. You know, this is not this is not the plan. So oh my gosh! So. 7 30 a.m we're going to the dealership and let's just lord please just get me through week one what's more annoying is if i can't get it in that's fine i'll hold my breath slow play it to charlotte i have friends there i'll try to do the same exact thing tomorrow mo or like yeah, tomorrow morning friday morning in charlotte if i can't do it there the Labor Day weekend, everything's going to be closed. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Saturday, maybe. I'm going to give it three bites of the apple. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday. At the very first thing in the morning at each city. And then Sunday, most places are closed. Monday, Labor Day, Monday, closed. Tuesday, I'll be in Atlanta. And the, this is the hurtful part. Is my friend in Orlando, her and uh, her husband, who is also my friend, and their, their child is like, just turned one. They're moving to, <coughs> I shouldn't know this, Virginia. And I told them that, and they're moving on the 9th. And I wanted to see them before they left. So I was going to drive from Atlanta to Orlando on Tuesday, or Monday night. And hang out with them Tuesday. Um, but now, like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do that. Because I need to get the car right for this trip. I'm sorry, this is six minutes of me rambling. This may just be, it's a, it's a video by itself. Shoot. This is not the plan. Um, all right, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm on 10 hours of sleep over the past 50, 50 something hours. Here's to hoping. First thing in the morning, let's do it. Decided to get a McFlurry because uh, I just, I don't deserve it. And I know that. My friend Alex is going to be mad at me for not mad, but he's going to say, Ben, you should not be eating uh, based on your emotions. But Oreo McFlurry time. All right, going to eat this McFlurry and pass out. And let's hope for good news tomorrow. Park right next to this cop car. That's smart. Look at this. Right there. That's parked in the Ford parking lot. All right, Ben. Let's get it together. Everything's going to be okay. I hope.